Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we got something really special in store. The homie FBCC is finally unveiling his sneakers at his very own sneaker shop. Besides his videos, I'm pretty sure this is the first time anyone has seen this on the whole YouTube realm. If you follow him on Instagram, you have seen these already, but I'm super excited for him. The model that he's releasing is just so fire in my opinion. I'm gonna hold off on explaining it a little bit. We're gonna head to Oakland right now. I'm usually not out in this area, but whenever I think of Oakland, I think of two short reps man album number 10 if you're a real one you know about it if you don't then you should check it out but anyways it's about to be an hour drive so let's get it and let's go time and place to come through send me your location Whenever I drive my mom's car, I listen to the radio and I hear the same damn songs every single time. It's like y'all have a repeat of the same song five times within an hour. It's crazy out here. I'm out here remembering songs that I don't even necessarily like. It's like they're brainwashing us, man. Let's focus on communicating. Cause I just need some time and place to come through. Come through, biatch! Yo, a CLS 500. Those are pretty sick. That'd be a good commuter car. Let me know what you think. Best commuter car. It has to be convenient and it has to fit at least four people comfortably. Comfortably. That's the word. Right now I'm at the CLS 500 BMW 7 Series Toyota Sienna SE, the premium edition. G Wagon. You, you guys know the drill, alright? Convenient cars that can fit four people comfortably. You can't go wrong with some Travis Scott, man. You can listen to this five times in an hour. It's all good. All right, y'all. This is how you know you're in Oakland is when you see all of this graffiti. There's so much graffiti out here, but it's so dope because I've seen like my boy Night Owl's pieces out here and a whole bunch of Bay Area graffiti artists just put some pieces up and everything like that. So it's kind of cool to see that. Just a lot of art out here. But yeah, we're going to start walking to the FBCC. Uh, store Carpe Diem's the name, I think. So let's go. There's a lot of people that have been waiting overnight. I think it was like six or seven people overnight campers, and they got more people that waited uh, this morning. So it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna get you guys some cool footage. So let's go. Cut the lights off. Want my enemies to hear them singing my songs. See the light is in the air. I'm about to take off. I got shows, women cash in different time zones. Waiting on me. Ooh. I don't wait in my whole damn life to flex on you, hoes. Like in the cash, I'm a nose dive. Paper cuts when I'm baptized. Hey. Write it up on you. It's dope to see everybody come out. There's a lot of people sleeping, that's all right. Because if they ain't here, I'm just telling you right on Instagram, I got 100 people waiting to buy the shoes. Yeah, Man, right I wanted to do like this shit the right way. I was like, let the people actually come and get it. No pots, none of the bullshit. First come, first serve, no raffle, you know, making you jump through who you in. The size is here, you get it, that's it. They even better in person. I see. Yeah, yeah. That's my size. Yeah, better in person. Ooh, man, it looked like you was left off bad as bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You graduated, top of your class, valedictorian. <laughs> <laughs> this new man has a five o'clock yesterday. Oh, wow. definitely congratulations <laughs> to you. So I did this homework. You don't get to graduate. Still looking real scholarific over there. Put this on top of the box. Congratulations. You can grab this, you pimped out.
Overall, I feel like that was a great event. Shout out to my boy FBCC. If y'all aren't following him on Instagram already, his Instagram is right here. Since I didn't talk too much at the event, I'm gonna give you guys a brief overlap of what happened. So FBCC is a customizer, and he's been customizing shoes for forever. If I remember correctly, it was before the 2000s. So creating shoes and customizing is his craft. What I thought was really cool about this whole thing is that he's taking all these ideas, inspirations, and putting them into this one sneaker that he wants to use to represent represent himself as well as his brand. There were some people that flew in just to get the sneaker and the first guy in line was waiting since five o'clock yesterday. He seemed pretty happy when he got the shoes and I think that's partially because of the experience that my boy created. It's like he kind of catered this event to the name of the sneaker which is the Valedictorian VV1s. One of the main inspirations for this shoe was Kanye West and I kind of tie that in with graduation. So when I saw him start taking pictures with people in their graduation gowns and their graduation caps and stuff like that. I thought that was really dope. One of the dopest parts of just going to this release had to be receiving a valedictorian diploma. My boy went all out when it came to this. Just peep the details on this diploma. You got FBCC, which stands for Flyboys Couture Club. Tour. Couture? 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 Couture Club. Valedictorian VV1, which is, of course, the name of the sneaker. Certificate of Authenticity. The gold with the FBCC. And we also have the silver part right there. Sincerely D nice the homie D and this isn't on your ordinary paper either. This is like On some thick diploma paper. He did not mess up any of these details man Like he went all out with this. This is what I'm talking about This is how the sneaker game should go and then on the back We got some artwork done by one of his homies. He just did a little rendition of this sneaker I was peeping his Instagram and he does a whole bunch of sneakers just in this kind of cartoon look right here, which I think is amazing. He had that one-to-one -one connection with his people that are supporting him and he's taking a picture with them and just kind of like creating a more personal connection with the people that support him. I thought that was great, that was really awesome. It's not like get in, get out, keep it moving kind of thing. It's like, yo, talk about the shoe real quick, take pictures, and it makes the experience a lot more lively in my opinion. So for my dude FBCC, if you're watching this, Keep up the good work. We can't wait to see new colorways. If you guys are interested in the Valedictorian VV1s, then you have to wait a little bit because he will be releasing these online. We don't have an official release date yet, but we got them here in person and these are really sick. I posted them on Instagram and dudes were going crazy over this, just straight up hitting my dude up about it. You know, the sneaker market right now is at a weird point because I feel like a lot of people are wearing Yeezys, a lot of people are wearing the same things, but this shoe right here is kind of breaking it up a little bit. It's almost introducing something new to the sneaker community and that's why I wanted to bring you guys this video. That's why I wanted to show you guys something new because I can guarantee I'm the first sneaker YouTuber that will be showing you this pair in hand, in person, right here and right now. I almost forgot to mention that the leather on the upper of these sneakers is so high quality. I'm pretty sure this is the leather that changes as you wear it. So it's the veggie tan or the pinnacle Vachetta leather, if I am correct. So I really wanna see how these break in. They should change like the Vachettas do. So as you wear them, this leather should get darker. It should get a lot more soft. And I wore these inside already and I don't see any creases, which is something I really like how he did because he made this part a little bit more stiff than this part. And the way that he did it, it doesn't crease whenever you wear it. So it looks pretty clean. And overall, man, this is just a well-executed sneaker. Great job on it. Fly Boys Couture Club. I gotta make sure I'm saying that thing right. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but you know what I'm saying. And there you guys have it, man. The Valedictorian VV1s. There is a whole story behind this shoe. I will not be covering it in this video. So if you guys want to see the next video on it, you have to smash that like button and comment VV1s in the comment section down below. If you guys knock it out of the ballpark with that one, then I will make a review video for these and put them on feet for you. Just showing you different ways to style this sneaker. Anyways, I hope y'all liked the video. I try to make it a little bit different. I'm starting to incorporate more sneaker vlogs and keep it kind of relevant on that basis. Stay tuned for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.
I said I'm driving Mercedes My windows not tinted, they look at me crazy I ride through my city I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me We came from the base